right to left across your radio dial as Irvin Gonzalez, he will put toe to leather. And we are underway here from Hughes Stadium. Glad you could join us here on the NCCU Sports Network. Go forth from the near side of the five, heading towards the 10 of the 15 of the 20. Around there, stopped at the 18, and he is bottled up by the Morgan State Special Teams Unit number Looks like number 28 for Morgan State, Gregory Wanamaker with the stop in the ball game. Now Reed, uh, play action pass, lets it go, finds Geo at the 32-yard line. He's got some room to the 35, falling forward to the 39, maybe even the 40. And the Eagles will move the change to Irvine. Just recorded his 147th catch. He needs six more to tie Antoine Callaway. They're on the near side hash. Jordan Reed dumps it off up the middle to Detwan Robinson, bumps off a tackle to the 45, bounces off another tackle all the way close to first down yardage at the 49. Two plays in a row, the Eagles get a first down, Joe. Yeah, right now they're working the middle of the field. They've thrown the ball to the uh, Geo on the inside. Front four for Morgan State. Here's the handoff to go forth. Big hole, 45, all the way to the 42. There he's tackled up, and he keeps pushing his feet. He may have a third straight first down here in the first quarter. Eagles driving right down the field. Looking pretty sharp here early on. It's quickly here in this first quarter. And off to go forth again. Go forth, stutter steps, gets to the 45, 35, now to the 30. Go forth, moving it easily into deep territory of Morgan State. He's at the 27 yard line. Come out. Here, they're going to run it. They're going to hand off to Andre Clark. He busts forward, Touchdown. and he gets into the end zone. Touchdown, North Carolina Central. Andre Clark dives in from five yards out. Eight touchdowns on the year, 13 in his North Carolina Central career. The Eagles drive down the field and take a 6-0 lead, Joe Simmons. Dude, I didn't even think it was him that came out of there. He came out of there so fast. Looked like somebody bounced backwards. He came out of there. Shot like he was shot out of a cannon. Wow, nice run by Andre. For the Bears, as Council back to throw. He's going to be pressured. He's going to be sacked by Stephen Young as he got a paw in on there. And he brings him down for the loss. And he'll drop him about two yards behind the line of scrimmage. Stephen Young coming into this contest. Certainly up on the charts for a team that only has four sacks. He had one and a half coming into the ball game today. He had an 80-yarder earlier. That was not for a touchdown. Council's going to be flushed out. He is going to be sacked behind the line of the 23-yard line. Ty Brown in on the play. He was flushed towards the near side. He had no chance there, and the Eagles are going to do what they can to get after Council. A move here. Now Council again is going to be sacked at the 30. Ty Brown off the edge. Take him down, Brown, again. Untouched. Always right there around the ball. Always opportune situations for that young man. And the tight end out of the left as well, Reed. Does it a crossing pattern to go for rather Irvine at the 50. And Irvine will get into Bear territory to the 47 yard line. It may have been given to the 46, and he gets a gets a first down for North Carolina Central. Good to see Geo with his second catch of the day. Tight end in motion. And off again to man. Man is mad at the line of scrimmage. Aaron Wallace, amongst other participants in on the play. Tank gets the stop. Now, here's the snap to Cornelius. Cornelius gets up a high punt to the right side. And now Brian Mann, he fumbles that. It's a loose ball, picked up by Ty Brown, and he'll have it at the 16. The Eagles will have it. Brian Mann, I don't know what he was doing there, but his teammates kind of got around him, and he let the ball bounce, and it hit him, and the Eagles will have it. And a good job by the Eagles of avoiding touching, and when they saw the fair catch, they all jumped to the right-hand side and got out of the way. Down and six for North Carolina Central. Here's Reed. Back to throw. Nice pass all the way to the 43. Marvin Poole uh -oh. making folks miss. He's at the 45 coming near side. Drop down to the 49. Big play by Marvin Poole. And there's an injured player down on the field for Morgan State. There's Reed. A step up. Find Scruggs at the 45 with 26 seconds to go. Nice job there by Reed. Play clock is down to 14. Third down and three from the 44. Reed again. Let's it fly. Near side. Caught by Lamar Scruggs at the 35-yard line with 20.8 seconds left. Second and six. Reed. 
Time to throw. Let's it fly to a wide open he Rashad Daniels. And he gets out of bounds at the 12, maybe 13 yard line. And he's got to have better awareness there. He did get out of bounds and the clock will stop because of the first down with five seconds to go now. Can Oleg Parent make it 17-10 in the half from 35 yards out? Snap down, kick is up. It certainly got the distance and it is good. Huge kick by Oleg Parent. And the Eagles will end the first half down by only seven. As 17 to 10 will be the tally heading in to the locker room. Great job there by Oleg Parent. Talk about that kick, Joe, and how big that was. That was the best kick he's had all year. That's the first time he's hit a ball that looks like he hit it in the center. Great job by Oleg. Bears going from left to right. Here's the handoff to Davidson. And Davidson stopped. And I think fumble. there's a fumble. And the Eagles might have it. There's a fumble and the Eagles sideline has erupted. They have the football. Wow, what a big play by the Eagle defense right away, right out the break. We talked about how they needed a big play. They come out and they get the big play right away. I wouldn't be surprised to see a little bit of play action. Good cut. Now here's the handoff to go forth on the play after the turnover of the Eagles with a chance to tie it up. What a run there by Arthur Goforth. And after the turnover by Travis Davidson, the Eagles have a chance to tie it up at 17 apiece. Stayed at the 40, now the 40 and a half yard line. Now here's another handoff to Davidson. Davidson met at the line, still pumping his feet. Taz Foster comes in late to knock him down, but Stephen Young got a hand in there, along with Ty Brown, Chris Drew, and John Drew. There's Reed over to the far side to Irvine. Irvine spinning out of the tackle with a 30 Ooh. at the 40, cutting back inside of the 45. Giovanni Irvine with the absolutely spectacular move gets a huge first down for North Carolina Central. Yeah, nice job right there, getting the ball in space to one of your playmakers. Now Jordan Reed's going downfield. He's got a man open. It's Marvin Poole at the 40, all the way to the 45. A huge 22-yard gain. It was a Jordan pump fake. And a pass to pull, huge first down. Nice play to start the drive. Yeah, we were fortunate right there. We didn't get, a, we didn't, they didn't call illegal motion right there as Geo started in motion. The tight end was just putting his hand down. High formation. Looks like Brian Mann in the backfield. Hand off. He's going nowhere. Big stop by the Eagle defense. They stop him at the line of scrimmage, and it'll be fourth down. Here comes the punting unit. Yeah, not a bad job by the Eagle defense right now, and it may be not even be a bad idea to call a timeout right now in this situation to try to stop the clock. Well, Gonzalez back at the 15 now. And here comes the punt. Geo should have a chance to return this. He'll catch it at the 32. Trying to get some blocking. He's at the 35. He's got a little bit of a seam to the 45. He He's at the 50. Knocked down on the 47-yard line, and Geo with exactly what we needed there. We're inside of Morgan State territory with 2.32 to go. Yeah, big, big play right there as we've got the ball back in positive field position. So the missed field goal doesn't put us in a bad situation right now. Now we need to get something going on offense. We maybe maybe hit a couple check downs. Offense. Reed will throw to his check down to Twan Robinson of the 45. Break tackle to the 50, all the way to the 47, back to the original line of scrimmage. Third and 10, back to the original line. Reed, time to throw, dumps it off to Arthur. Arthur at the 45, to the 40, Good to the job. 35. First down, North Carolina Central to the 34 yard line. A gain of 13 for Arthur Goforth. Reed, looking over to the sideline, getting his signals on this fourth down and two. From the 26, Jordan Reed. Quick throw, Detroit Rice, oh, yes. he's in the oh, yes. 20, oh. 15, 10, down to five, touchdown, 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 oh, my touchdown, goodness. touchdown, oh, my goodness. with 25 seconds to go, and the Eagles sideline erupts, Detroit Robinson with his second touchdown in the last two weeks, puts the Eagles up, 23 to 20, with 25.6 seconds left, what a play by the senior, are you kidding me? Wow. wow. <laughs> Detwan Robinson with 25.6 seconds left has done it. Put this game away. They'll move to 4-2 and two overall, 3-0 and oh in the MEAC. Final play of the game here. Fourth down and 10 from the 10. Here's Council. Let's it go down the near side. It's up for grabs, and it is tipped in the air and Ooh. knocked down, and the Eagles win. Ladies and gentlemen, North Carolina Central has ruined the homecoming for Morgan State. 
They're four and two overall. They move to three and zero oh in the Mid Eastern Athletic Conference and set the scene for what should be an interesting ball game coming up this Thursday night from the home of North Carolina Central. And we're live to the nation on ESPNU. Final score here from Hughes Stadium. North Carolina Central 24, Morgan State 20. And you heard it all right here on the NCCU Sports Network. Thanks, Chris. Uh, Coach, what was going through your mind when you saw fourth down two, Detwan Robinson comes up with the ball and takes it into the house? What was going through your mind? Wow, that's pretty cool. You know, um, you know, I had confidence we would get the first down because of the coverages they were giving us. But when he broke the tackle and um, and he kept going, I said, "Oh wow!" You know, because I knew we had two timeouts left, so we were going to try to score and win the ball game. You know, I ain't want to do overtime. It's homecoming, a beautiful day. I'm ready to go enjoy the win. <laughs> All right, Coach, talk about the, the second half performance. It seemed like both teams figured something out defensively. It was kind of back and forth. What made the difference there? Well, you know, I think they got a good football. I know Coach Hill is an excellent coach and, a, and a Coach Lee, the defensive coordinator. So I knew they would make adjustments, but I, I pride myself on sitting down at halftime, making adjustments, seeing what they're trying to do. And that's what we did. We made some adjustments. We took away the little bounce, you know, with the run. We, st we knew we could stop them up the middle with our defensive tackle, so we took away the spill. And then we, in our offense, we just told Jordan, go through your progressions and just take your time. So what we did was just shorten the game for Jordan to try to cut half of the field off because, you know, his leg is still a little sore. So we did that, and we went to a quick passing game, and the offensive line kept playing well, and uh, we was able to execute. First time back in your home state since yeah. 2003. Yeah. Well, what yeah. does this win mean to you? It meant the world for me. Like I said, yesterday I was feeling kind of emotional when we practiced at Bowie State, you know, where I, I just love, I just love my alma mater. And, and then to come up here in Maryland, my whole family's up here, and uh, my, my high school basketball, football coach, my college coach is here. You know, it, it's a lot of emotion. And, um, you know, I'm just so proud of my football team because, again, we're going to play for 60 minutes. I'm not sure what the outcome is going to be, but we're going to give you 60 minutes of hard football. And then, you know, when you do that, you know, good things tend to happen. And then we're 4-2, 3-0. We're just wrapping up a five-game road trip when we get to go home at Old Kelly Riddick Stadium, national TV, Thursday night. Probably Hampton looks like they're going to get their first win of the season. And it ought to be pretty exciting. Great. Thanks, Coach. Congratulations to you. No problem. Thank you. Yes, thanks, Chris. With the player of the game today, Deswan Robinson, talk about that fourth down touchdown run. Well, um, I saw that they were about to blitz, and the coach said, keep your head on the – Keep your eyes on the on the on the linebacker, and um, when he blitzed, I turned around, caught it, and I just tried to make a play. And you did. You bounced off a few guys. What was that like when you spun away from a tackle and, and saw the end zone? Well, my eyes got real big, and I realized that we might win this game, and, and still a homecoming from Morgan. Is is that the biggest catch in your career? I would have to say that is the biggest catch in my career. Yes, I would. And the, the big symbol for North Carolina Central lately has been that sledgehammer. When you got that in your hands, what did that mean to you? Uh, it meant a lot. You know, Kyle, working every day, being here for four years, you know, being a senior, just being my senior year, grinding and knowing that when I got that hammer that, you know, I put everything on the line for this season. And with that being said, I'm, I'm, I'm willing to do it every week, any, any time of the day. It doesn't matter. And you've got coming off of five straight road games, you got big wins, still undefeated in the conference. You get to go home for a nationally televised game on ESPN. What's that mean? Um, it's just another game, you know. And we got to come through and we got to win it. You know, we got to we got to put our name on this on this here on, on on North Carolina Central University, and that's that's probably the biggest thing. Just keep winning and keep winning and keep making our mark in the MEAC. Congratulations, Antoine. Thank you.